Hey everybody, welcome to Papa Bear Gaming. You must be looking at this and being all confused, like, hey man, what happened to your setup, man? You're missing your table. This is Drinking Games with Josh on the screen. I, I came in to watch Papa Bear Gaming. What the hell is going on? You tell me. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I watched the video of Josh's a little while ago, and uh, he inspired me to go and order a box from this company called Love to Get Media. What they do is um, somewhat of a VGM-style subscription service. It's a little bit different. It's not exactly the same. But one of the things that you can do is you can buy a single box. So I figured I want to try them out, see if I'm happy with the box, if I'm not happy with the box. And I might give them uh, their subscription service a shot. But at least for the time being, I just ordered one single box. So it's got 10 games in here. All right, so first things first. My daughter got a little turtle. Here, I'll show you a little clip. Because the turtle needed a stand or a table to sit on, I had to give up my table. So unfortunately, at least for the time being, this is going to be my setup. It's an old tote where I keep some of the extra equipment I have, like extra controllers or whatever else. So, hopefully this content isn't become gonna become too unbearable and you'll stick around if you're not subscribed to Josh please subscribe to him link is gonna be in the description um, drinking games with Josh he loves having a couple of cold brews loves playing some video games he does a pretty entertaining segment on Saturdays called CRT Saturday matinee which I enjoy watching I enjoy a lot of his content to be honest with you and and from watching his content, I learned about a company called Love Again Media. So it it's actually just came up on the screen on his show, so just <clears throat> kind of fits, I guess. <laughs> but um, what this company does is they'll you know they'll sell you used video games and so on and so forth, sort of like VGM on a subscription basis. Uh, so basically, you can subscribe. I think it's like thirty something dollars a month, and they'll send you X amount of games. I don't know the particulars because I've been on that site for just, just a very brief brief amount of time. But if you're interested, I'm going to put the link in the description. So please feel free to check them out. As far as the unboxing goes, um, Josh got a gem in his. So please, please go ahead and check out his video because it, it, I think it blew most of the community away what game they sent him. And I don't want to spoil it here, so I, I might have to pause the video. Um, but I, I do have a couple of hangups on the service, so we'll see if it's going to be any good. I got the 10 pack right there. It didn't cost me as much as a VGM box, but the only problem that I have is I couldn't check off any of the games that I already had. So I'm assuming I'm going to get a lot of duplicates in here. And I also don't have my hopes pretty high to receive a crazy, crazy gem like Josh received. So actually what I am gonna do is because as his video is gonna progress, he's gonna show you that, that one amazing gem that he got and I don't wanna spoil it here. Um, so please continue watching my video and then afterwards go watch his. Hold on one second, let me just switch that video. There we go. This is a different video, no spoilers coming up. But again, if you're not subscribed, Please do. Great, great guy. Pillar of the community. I haven't heard a single bad thing about Josh. He's awesome, and uh, we all appreciate his videos and everything he's, he's done. So, now that I'm opening the box, I did sign up for PS1, PS2, PS3, cartridge based games and I think that was it so it's going to be a lot of PlayStation games hopefully not a lot of um, not a lot of dupes but I guess we'll see so you got loved again media box came in a uh, pretty good condition it's kind of small I was kind of expecting it to be better I got a little dent in my box on the bottom but that's probably not because of loved again media that's probably from the post office those guys just always kicking packages and stuff Nice. All right. Got some 
Nice bubble. Here we go. First game. Star Wars, the original trilogy. I actually, I don't think I have this game. <laughs> so the first game's uh, pretty good. There you go, Star Wars 2. Excuse me, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Let's see? Case is in pretty good condition. There's no stickers, no anything else. Let's see, obviously the disc fell out, but uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. No complaints. There's a couple of scratches and scuff marks, but overall, if I saw this at a store, I would have picked it up. So that's game number one. Let's see what game number two is. Ooh, Pirates of the Caribbean for the PlayStation 2. So I wonder if there's going to be a lot of PlayStation 2 games. I was hoping to get some PS1 games because that collection isn't really too big. Ooh, the disc is perfect. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I believe I do have this copy particularly. But this is probably a much nicer one, so I might even have to keep this one. So that was number two. The Sims. I definitely don't have that one. The Sims Get a Life. Cool. I, I used to play a lot of The Sims on the computer. So I'm excited. I, I wonder if, uh, oh, this is the, the blue one. What does the blue mean? Does anybody know? Is that, uh, is that like a PAL version or something? No, it says NTSC. Yeah, I don't remember what the blue blue means versus the, the white. I know the black's one, but. Okay, so we had three completes. And now we got the loose discs, which, you know, kind of a bummer, I guess, again. But I got a super bust a move on the PS2 loose disc. Because it's a loose disc, I'm guessing there's uh, probably some scratches on here. But no, this is almost perfect. So I wonder if blue means like uh, resurfaced or something. I don't know. I guess I'll have to look that up. If you know what, what a blue colored disc means, please throw it down in the comments below. Here, PlayStation 3 game. I'm trying to open it, but it's... Dark Kingdom for the PS3. So this is our first PS3 game. Uh, the other ones, the other four have been PlayStation 1 games. So, oh, I'm sorry, two games. PlayStation 2 games. So hopefully we'll get some ones. So this is Dark Kingdom. Untold Legends Dark Kingdom. So let's take a look at the disc. Uh, it's, got a, it's got some fingerprints on it. Maybe one, one deep gash. I don't know if it would play, but I guess we'll have to test it out. So that's that. Let's see what else we got here. Next one, also a PS3 game, is Little Big Planet. I don't know if you guys ever played that game, but that game is a lot of fun. And some fingerprints, but nothing crazy. Yeah, mostly just fingerprints, some small scratches. So that's definitely going to be playable. So Little Big Planet. Next one we got is also a PlayStation 3 game. Nino Kuni. What does that say? Wrath of the White Witch. Nino Kuni. Never heard of the game. Um, I'll have to check it out. And then as I go through, I'm sure you've noticed already, I'll be putting up prices and seeing seeing what the games are roughly worth. Mm, that one's got a pretty big scratch on there. So hopefully that one works. So PS3. So we have seven games. we got three more games to go. So we got another loose disc. Wow, it's Seems like mostly loose discs. But I don't think I've gotten any duplicates besides the Pirates of the Caribbean, which is great. So you got PS3, the Lego movie, the video game. Also another loose. So let's take a look. How's that looking? Uh, not the worst. Hmm... 
It's got some scuffs, but I think it's still playable. So that is good. And is last loose, I think. Oh, no, this is sealed. No, it's not sealed. Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. I don't know if there was an insert with this game specifically, but Sly Cooper. Ooh, the disc looks pretty good, too. Sly Cooper, if I'm not mistaken, I thought this game's uh, isn't that inexpensive. And the condition is fantastic. I do remember seeing ads for this game when I was, ooh, man, 6th grade, 7th grade, somewhere around there. Maybe even high school. I don't even know. So, and the last game, we have a PS2 game, Fight Night 2004. I don't actually, I don't believe I have any boxing games except the Ready to Rumble game. Uh, I believe it's on the PS3. But yeah, definitely don't have any boxing games on the PS2, so this is it right here oh it's complete so i like that and let's see fight night oh the disc is perfect i love it i love getting perfect discs i like i like purchasing games from people that bought them new and they took care of it and they really took care of it they they played it they used it they just shoved it on a shelf after they were done they weren't just throwing it into boxes or, <laughs> or totes in their attic not kicking them around, always kept it with a case. Oh, that's always a gem. I love picking those games up. So there you go. Uh, I'm gonna post the totals somewhere on the screen now. So just as a recap real quick, Fight Night 2004, Sly Cooper for the PS3, Thieves in Time, the Lego movie, Loose, Nino Cooney, Loose. Little Big Planet 2, Loose. Dark Kingdom for the PS3, Loose. Super Bust a Move, Loose. The Sims 2 for the PS2. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Legend of Jack Sparrow. I'm assuming that's the first one. So that one is in box. And Lego Star Wars, the original trilogy. So what do you think about this box? As far as my pick of the game, I would have to say it's got to be Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. The condition of this is really good. I don't know if it's complete. But, I mean, it's got everything else I think that it needs to have, right? Uh, the disc is in immaculate condition. The case is immaculate so i think that this is my pick would i buy another box from them yeah i think the price reflects uh you know the, there's you're gonna get some loose games and some duplicates but they don't overcharge you for all the games so i think in total for a 10 box with shipping and everything else i think i paid like 44 bucks and I almost feel like I should get my value out of this. But again, I'm not doing this for value. I'm doing this for, you know, for fun, really. Like, I, I want games that I, I can play. You know, sealed copies are nice and all. But if, if I get a sealed copy, especially if it's an older game, I'm just not going to open it. I'm going to put it on my shelf and try to keep it in as pristine condition as I can. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember... Drinking Games Josh is no longer on the screen. So hold on one second. And there he is. So again, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Drinking Games with Josh. Link's going to be in the description. If you want to check out this site, Loved Again Media. Link's going to be in the description as well. I think it's a good service. I might try them out again. But let me know what you think. Do you like the service? Would you like to receive a box like that? I'm not sponsored, so this is no way, shape, or form going to go back to the company. If you hate, if you hate them, if you love them, if you tried them in the past, if you're thinking about trying them, stick it down in the comments below. We can have a discussion about it. I was pretty happy with the box, and I think I kind of lucked out because none of the games were duplicates besides the one, 
which uh, <laughs> that's actually better than what I've been getting from VGM. So, <laughs> which <laughs> it's just kind of how it happened. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out Drinking Games with Josh. Peace.